giving him a uh, push to do this. And That's right, we're on the... Echo's streaming already, and Courtney Occupy. Right. Um, I'm not sure who else is here. Those are the four that I know about, so, so we're um, running. What was the other guy's name? All right, we got... Uh, there was one more Okay. Well, we're here at uh, at the corner of 12th and Broadway, or 14th of Broadway. I'm sorry, uh, right in front of City Hall, and we've been here uh, we've been here since uh, about one o'clock. Uh, there's been a big rally here in support of medical marijuana. Uh, Dale Geringer. Uh, Mar well, you're right. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. And, uh, and we're about ready to go into March down to 16th of Broadway, where Harborside Medical Center is. Um, and we're uh, obviously that uh, President Obama's gonna be in the next block at 1700. Uh, he was scheduled to be there at 4 p.m., but uh, he's not gonna be there until 745. So uh, this event's gonna go on for a while. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay live and streaming for you for the next four hours. And uh, my name's Clark Sullivan. And you can reach me at Freeman Sullivan on Twitter. You can email me, freemansullivan at gmail.com. Uh, please log on to the social stream to chat with me uh, during the conversation in case you have any questions you want to ask me. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Please let me know if my reception and feed is good and it's that you can see. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to the... Uh, Medical cannabis, there's Dale Geringer. How you doing? And uh, welcome you to my broadcast, uh, Clark Sullivan, uh, Occupy San Francisco. Actually, if you want to find us on the web, it's ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. Or you can just follow my tweets at Freeman Sullivan. I'm happy to have you here, and I'm here to serve your needs. Uh, we're getting ready to go into the march here. So, moving right along. You have to forgive me. I'm in a wheelchair here as I'm moving along. But uh, we're right in the middle of the march here. At least. Excited crowd. Everybody's getting into the march. That's good. We haven't had a, a good marijuana pro. Well, we had one the other day. Uh, me medical marijuana protest or medical cannabis protests are happening more and more frequently. I think everybody's recognizing how the federal government is moving in to arrest people and possibly arrest people. At the very least, what they do is they use the legal system as a way to uh, to steal people's money and property. And that's pretty much the way I feel about it. You know, they might not be locking people up like they did in the old days, but you know, when you take an ability to, uh, you know, it's something simple as have a bank account, and uh, then we're talking about official government repression of medical marijuana users. Uh, I keep saying medical marijuana, but uh, hey, hey. So, yeah, we're moving along. Uh, too bad I could. Be you know, I've got some good commentary. I'm good. Good comment. I try to give people the background. Yeah, I, uh... Yeah, already. Just a, just a few. I should probably tweet out a little bit more, but... American lives, no more important than other people's lives. We're the copy of revolution here. We're talking about internationalism. The world comes first. You know, we're all part of the same planet. And what the U.S. does around the world, what Obama does around the world, you're talking about the 12 people, the tragic people that killed in uh, Colorado, but what about villages? He wipes out in Afghanistan. And, and yeah, no doubt, man. He's a mass murderer, bro. All right. People are taking it to the streets, baby. Right? All right. We like that. I like being out of the street.
Alright. Yeah, we're doing uh, dual coverage here. Uh, we're on the medical cannabis march against President Obama. We want him to uh, live up to his campaign promises that he's made about not enforcing federal law on medical cannabis patients. Uh, our march is headed to Harborside Dispensary, uh, which is at 1600 Broadway. So uh, in case you're following along on the map or you're uh, following my GPS, ha uh, I turned it off, uh, you'll know where we're at. Right, uh, my name is Clark Sullivan, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Freeman Sullivan, or at Freeman Sullivan on Facebook, or Freeman Sullivan at Gmail, and uh, you'll be able to find me very easily. And we're happy to have you here. Uh, we don't realize some of you have jobs and are watching us from your workplace. Uh, we welcome you to our stream. Right. Uh, we're marching to 1600 Broadway. Right. Everybody's good spirits. It's a beautiful day. Right. We're stopping, but we're happy to have you here. I'm handling Obama, keep your promise. 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 Headed for 60. We're well, not too much farther to go. It's kind of a, a bold statement by Obama. Uh, he doesn't really care what medical marijuana or cannabis people think. I mean, he's right in the middle of Amsterdam, and I, I think that makes a conscious statement on how much he doesn't care about medical cannabis and, and patients, the thousands and thousands of patients across America whose lives could be saved through the simple use of medical cannabis. So, there we are, everybody's got their little signs, right, and I believe that Obama's actually set the uh, state, uh, the U.S. Attorney Haig, he's kind of cut her loose in order to uh, uh, close down some of the dispensaries, which is her actual mission, I think, that she stated in her department. Uh, It's actually, you know, we're getting a really good picture. I said we're getting, a, we're sending out a really good picture. Okay. Well, we get a lot of support in the community. That's for sure. In the state of California, I believe that we enjoy about seventy percent support. So. Hey Obama, if you want our votes, start voting for, uh, start not enforcing medical marijuana laws. Right. So we're out here. What's that? I said this is Amsterdam right here. Where yeah. I go, my brother. <laughs> and the street has been conveniently blocked off. It's all very exciting. I think this is the largest gathering of uh, medical cannabis uh, in a public event uh, this year. There's an estimated crowd of about 200 people, maybe 300. Uh, we'll keep them at 17th and Broadway. Cannabis, fight, run, cannabis. Pretty good progress. Okay. So we're making it all right. This shit's wearing me out, but that's okay. 
Oh, no, it's okay. No, I don't mind the camera. It's not the camera. It's, just, it's not you. It's no, it's just me in this chair, right? Well, I guess there we go. That's a lot better. That's what I needed to do. Is to get back in the game. You know, I, don't, I could get an electric chair, but uh, I don't want to like. I don't want to have to depend on this forever. You know, so, hey, I'm close to getting rid of this. Hey, make it right there. Yeah, we're marching through uh, downtown Oakland. Hey, Bella. Nice flag. Okay. Nice flag, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we're getting close to 19th now. Uh -oh. Amsterdam Museum's over here on our right hand side. Don't worry about it. Stop and readjust myself. Right, we love you, Obama. White crime, not cannabis. Yeah, we're right in the middle of Oaksterdam, so... We're headed down here to the Paramount Fox. To protest uh, President Obama's appearance here in Oakland to raise funds for his campaign. Seems like he's milking uh, people in California for the money but he's not delivering on his campaign promises. And one of his campaign promises was not to enforce federal law against medical cannabis patients. So, uh, we think that most medical cannabis people that I know feel that uh, Obama has reneged on all his promises and can't be trusted. So, that's the way that works. And um, personally, uh, President Obama, uh, don't expect my vote. But that means I'm not voting for Romney either, you know. These elections, basically a battle of, of dumb and dumber. And uh, you know that and I know that. You know, we get Democrats on one side, you know, Republicans on the other. And while the Republicans may seem to be a little more extreme, their, their aims are the same as the Democrats, which is to continue domination of the 1% through the banking houses and the Federal Reserve. And I believe one of the reasons why they are so uh, keen on enforcing uh, medical medical cannabis laws is because medical cannabis is one of the few growing industries out here in California and probably in Colorado and any state where medical marijuana is legal. It's one of the few industries that's raising tax money, that's employing people and giving people jobs, plus it's healing people from all different kinds of diseases, cancer, glaucoma, uh, it helps with pain management, and it also helps with, I believe, people that are seriously depressed, as it's helped me with my depression, and uh, I hate to say this, but when I'm feeling down, uh, the best thing that I've found in my life has been uh, medical cannabis, that it's actually lifted my spirits to where I was able to deal with the world.
Uh, we're moving down uh, 19th Street, and we're headed toward Fox. Try to march around the. I believe we're marching around the Fox Plaza deal. We're headed towards Telegraph. That's a pretty heavy piss smell I smell there in Barton. Who? Where from? Oh. In the air? Yes. Well, yeah, it's a parking lot right over there, dude. I'll try not to. I'll stop for a second. Uh, sure. How are we doing here on this march? Is there point? Yeah, people, people behind us. Cool. We'll take the camera for a second. Sure. Uh, yeah, just for a second, see if we get a... Uh, How you guys doing? Alright. Yes, this is uh, Occupy San Francisco Broadcasting, and we're here in downtown Oakland, and people here are protesting uh, government, or uh, President Obama's reneging on his campaign promises not to arrest and charge medical medical cannabis patients. So we're happy to see you here. And uh, Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is Lynette, Lynette Shaw. Hi. How you doing? Right, you're I'm on live surviving. stream. You're on live stream right now. Live so, stream. Right, we're well, broadcasting. The uh, Red Alliance has been shut down since December 17th. We were the first honorable regulated club to be taken down by Obama. And um, it's been really bad. The patients are sick, and I'm bankrupt. But I'm not in jail, am I? No, you're free. <laughs> At least you're able to walk down the street. Yeah. Gotta keep keep moving. Moving. All right, let's keep going. Gotta keep moving. Oh, yeah, we gotta keep nice going. Nice to see you, Clark. Okay. Um, Headbook.org. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm uh, doing the music site there. Okay. And uh, that's my only website right now, headbook.org. Great. It's good talking to you, Lynette. I'll be here for a while. We're going to stay for the duration. Yeah, I forgot to check my... Uh, so that's a pretty long crowd of people since we're at the, we're at the end. We stopped for... Yeah, so there must be so about 300 people. It's about 300. And it's nice to have Telegraph out, Black to help us. I'm going to shout at this guy with this... There we go. Join here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Your phone said something. What's that? I said your phone was saying something. Yeah. Oh, it's me. Okay. We're marching in the streets of downtown Oakland. We just went through Amsterdam. And past Telegraph. So a warm welcome out there to all of our viewers. Yeah, but don't worry out, James. <laughs> I'm doing good so far. My arms are a little bit tired, but we stopped for a break. So I'm a soldier, man. I just keep walking. All right. Not a problem. Thank God we're not in San Francisco where all the hills are. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I remember when we did the Market Street thing to uh, to the SF Commune at 88, 88. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. I rode the bus over. <laughs> No, I was I was in the whole march when I had somebody that was, that was pushing me. I was just wondering if this march is to a destination, which I thought it was supposed to be. Because it is mighty hot out here. Just in this course of going down one street, but the temperatures went from about 65 to about 85. And me being the wimp I am about weather. You gotta find some shade for you, bro? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Alright. How about we cruise over here? Yeah, that'll work. 
Hey, it's you too, dude. You'll be you'll be sweatier than I am. <laughs> yeah, we're coming at you live at the uh, anti-Obama medical cannabis patients march. Yeah, yeah, we're just marching in one of these stupid circles. Let's waste everybody's energy. How are your arms doing? You're carrying two cameras now. Yeah, I get a little tired, but it's mainly uh, your cord. I don't want to keep pulling on it, you know. I don't like using uh, uh, any kind of attachments to my camera when I'm when I'm using it, right? We're doing well. Everything's going good. We're getting a good signal. Damn. That's good. Sorry about that. Sorry about this hill. As I, you can see, I'm not responsible for organizing this march. Although in the past I have organized medical cannabis marches on well, quite a few occasions. Okay. Right. Yeah. I got uh, my biggest crowd that I've organized for a medical cannabis event was. 8,000 people that I got to show up. So, and that was pretty impressive, considering it was a uh, a political protest and not just one of the one of those cannabis fests, right? All right, just we're moving down back down the hill. All right, sure thing. I see a lot of people that I recognize. You're here? Yeah. We got a, a few coming up behind us. Okay. Thanks. Back on duty here. This is Freeman Sullivan. Trajan. Yeah, I hear you. Fucking dying. Well, you know what? Why don't we? Why don't you take your time? Yeah. Why don't you take your time and we'll slow it down, right? Because uh, I don't mind. I understand. I'm totally 100. percent And if you want to stop, just let us know and we'll stop with you, okay? Thank you. I thought we were gonna stop somewhere. Well, we were supposed to. You know. hey, tell somebody to pat. Hey, when you guys got a bike, can you get up towards the front and tell them to slow, slow down, down. the cripples back here? Yeah. Right, we're medical you cannabis need to stop patients. I have a rally, goddammit. I need a break. And right. I didn't mean that derogatory. <laughs> I know we got somebody behind us, but she's in a. Good lord. I'm sorry. Okay. I imagine, oh, awesome. I imagine your pits are screaming by now. It's got a ride. Oh, great. Check it out. Let's check out this ride. This oh, great. A friend of hers brought up uh, a bike. Oh, good. It's worth a trailer. Yeah. Want to hitch her up? Trailer her, up. her out of here. Yeah, poor thing. Her pits are probably screaming by now. <laughs> Jesus. Well, right, naturally, we got people. Going, yeah. Going faster than us and, and we got people that are trying to run us over here, it looks right. like. A school bus. Well, he looks like he might be with the crowd. <laughs> what do you think? Quite Silver possibly. Silver River Marine Institute. Yeah, we're sure, dude. <laughs> All right. Well. Hey. Although I did live in a, I had a step van that said Books for Youth, San Francisco Public Library, right? GMC step van. And uh, I lived in that thing for a year and a half. I never got a parking ticket. I lived in five years. Never got a parking ticket on it, right? <laughs> so... But mine was based in the same locality and what it was painted on the side of the, the vehicle. Yeah, we're wondering how far this march is going to go. How you doing there? Well, we can change Obama's mind today. I'm doing great. I doubt it, but at least we're out here. Hey, hey not too bad. I'm with Chris Conrad. Hi there. That's me. You think you know it's okay. 
Mickey Norris. Yeah, and Mickey Norris, yes. How you doing, Mickey? And they're tireless, uh, tireless activists in the, to uh, legalize not only cannabis, I mean medical cannabis, but also cannabis. I mean, we need to get real. Oh, yeah. Oh, the police are waiting for us, of course. <laughs> right, waiting to haul you to Santa Rita, of course. That guy's playing for a while there, but he still has it on his shoes. Right. Right. Cops out here looking mean as usual. Right? When they, you know, the police, you know, they should realize that their very lives could depend on medical cannabis. And uh, if it's not legally available, they're going to be just as bad off as we are. So, you know, the cops should realize that. But, you know, we live in a system full of contradictions and hypocrisies. And there's major hypocrisies, definitely around the issue of medical cannabis and the federal government. And uh, we just like to, uh, we are audience here, I'm pretty sure you know that. And uh, where the federal government will say one thing out of one side of their mouth, and then on the other they'll do something else. And uh, we wish that just once, just one time, that a politician would actually live up to his campaign promises about medical cannabis well, there's been a couple, actually. I can't really say that all of them are bad. But <laughs> Obama, yeah. There's only a few There's only a few that are actually big supporters of medical marijuana. Uh, probably Tom Amiano, who uh, represents a uh, state representative from San Francisco. He's one of our biggest allies. And uh, Mark Leno has crafted a number of good bills for medical cannabis. So... Yeah, we're just wondering where this march is going to end up at. Well, who's leading it? And if I should follow anymore. <laughs> That's kind of weird. They got this whole little area barricaded all the way, totally locked down. They were talking about Secret Service coming down here. And, right. And there's all kinds of new surveillance. <laughs> nice ride. Oh, well, there you go. Oh. Yeah, that looks comfy. Oh. He was my hero. I had to so hard. There you go. I was toast. I can see that. But we still keep marching, which is... <laughs> so I'm guessing, you guys know each other? Or? Oh. So he just stopped it. That's, it. that's yeah. that's an act of humanity right there. I did it because I'm an anarchist and I believe in mutual aid and solidarity. All right, me too. That's, that's awesome. Agreed. Man. I got that That's you know what anarchists can't do something that's humane. Gosh, I just saw something that was one of the most humane things I've ever seen in my life. Somebody just pulls over and says, "Hey, I move my shit over. Hop in. I'll haul you. I'll haul you." <laughs> You're probably maybe the Maybe the 40th person I've given a ride. You're probably the third person I've given a ride that's been out of contact with me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. Where's the destination? Yeah, what the fuck, you know? Excuse my language, folks. This is a uh, supposed to be a family friendly broadcast. Hey, Justin. Hey! How you doing? How about you? Hey, not too bad, not too bad. Justin Yes, it is. Uh, I thought I recognized you. I was like, sweet. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey. I think we're going to stop in the next block. It's practically a streamer's yeah. gathering today for this event. This is, this is very... Uh, well, there hasn't really been all that much going on. I mean, it's been pretty quiet, like, for, since May Day. I mean, there's been a couple of things. But I noticed that, that uh, a lot of the, the major uh, local citizen journalists are here today streaming. Oh, yeah. You know? I agree. All right, when are we going to stop? Let's stop here for a second. I got to stop. Here, hold the camera. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I just want to stop for a second, though. Yeah, I believe I got some water in my bag. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, we did it again. All right, I'm going to have to start putting quarters in the jar. <laughs> well, thanks for holding the camera, man. That worked out pretty well for teamwork. Uh, not too bad. Calm down. Not too bad. Uh, you think we're being surveilled? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get in the shade. I guess we got to follow these guys somewhere. Yeah. Where the hell they're going, I don't know, but it shouldn't be much farther. Yeah, one more, one more, one more cruise there, bro. All right. All right. Oh, there we go. It's amazing how you can stop for a minute to catch your breath and, and you feel so much better, you know? Stand up for a second. See, that's the thing, is like, naturally my body is coming out of this charity. There was a while there where, you know, I was trapped in this mo, And I couldn't do anything about it either. How about this over here? Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, we're stopping down here, so we're cool. Down here at Frankagawa Plaza. In lovely downtown Oakland, it's no joke. But it's uh, people say Oakland's such a hardcore place, but uh, I don't really always feel that way. There's some neighborhoods here that definitely in West Oakland I wouldn't be caught walking around at three o'clock in the morning. But I wouldn't be caught walking down my own street at three o'clock in the morning if I could help it. <laughs> and there's hundreds and hundreds of medical cannabis supporters and patients down here. Uh, we're here to remind President Obama to keep the campaign promises that he made. Yeah, it's just, uh, right, not to enforce federal law on medical cannabis patients and to respect states' rights. So, I mean, now I have time to check the chat. Alright, folks. Uh-oh, nobody said anything. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Hey, uh, just want to remind you that you can log on to the social stream on the right hand side of the page using Facebook or your uh, Facebook ID or your Twitter handle and uh, you should, you'll be able to do that on the on the page City Hall, downtown, San, downtown Oakland. I want to say San Francisco, that's where I live. 